Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 33E 4x16 US 32D pull plate. And the 33 is compromised, uh, not compromised, it's not compromised at all. It's comprised, <laughs> comprised of this here piece of flat stainless steel that is just a peel away protective film that's on the face of this. When it ships, it will come unassembled, and that's your handle. Okay, that's obviously going to go conspire to go on just like that. Okay, so the 33E is the uh, will, will uh, comes with this 3E pull. If you were to order the pull only, this is a 3E. 3E specifically means six inch centers. Uh, this is a, appears to be three quarter bar stock. Let's take a look. Yeah, three quarter bar stock. So it should be six and three quarter overall height, which it is six inch centers. Okay. Overall projection about two and an eighth. Clearance is going to be about an inch and, you know, five eighths or so. Uh, weight about 2.38 pounds. 2.38 pounds with this plate. This is four inch wide. It is 16 inch tall. It is 50 thousandths of an inch thick. So 050. It's the same thickness as a standard caliber kick plate. Okay, from Hager. This is just a simple through bolt mount. It'll have a couple of quarter 20 flat. These appear to be undercut head screws. Yeah, they are. Flat undercut head screws with a Phillips drive and a couple of finish or countersunk washers. There are indeed two of them in that package. Okay. Then you, and you'll through bolt that through the door. Uh, you'll have some probably number six by five eighths oval head sheet metal screws, undercut head as well. Um, and you know what, what people do is you're meant to through bolt that through the door. And if you have a push plate on the opposite side, which you may, you would have the head of the bolt and the finish washer exposed. Now, what some people do is they just take, um, you know, a smaller bolt and they bolt that plate here and then they'll drill the face of the door just to allow the head of the bolt to, you know, reside within the uh, cavity that they created. But you're supposed to through bolt these. You don't want the pull plate simply held on by number six sheet metal screws. That would not be a good long term sort of option for holding that on to the door. Uh, let's switch. Oh, oh and of course, uh, stainless steel. This is US 32D or 630. It's a solid bar of stainless. Um, base material with a brushed finish, the most uh, durable of all finishes. They, they call that a natural finish, and the most durable of all natural or um, artificial finishes. Um, so if you're looking for a pole that would be the most robust against the elements. Anything that would be 630 or US 32D would be what you're looking for. Let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay, so here is the item that we're looking at, the 33E. Extended description, it's a 30S plate with a 3E pole. They turn that into a 33E. Four by 16, six inch centers, 50 thousandths thick, three quarter inch bar stock, screws okay there is a link here to the uh, product catalog that's seen right here that is handy because it will allow you to review uh, you know the common polls available from Hager they're going to show you it's more of a it's more of a, uh, a page as it pertains to the plate itself but it is handy to be able to see what the part number turns into. So if you know that you need a 3E pull, it'll become a 33E with a square corner or a 43G with a radius. Just talking about these different options on the poles, on the plates themselves. We've got a um, cut sheet that's linked to here as well. And here is that, pardon me, excuse me one moment. Here's that link to the cut sheet, and it's going to show you the three pull. And 
what's handy about this is it will show you the other letters as you change the size of this fairly generic shaped pole. E, G, J, and L will give you 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch centers. Okay. Also, there is a document that is called the product brochure, and that document is amended and linked down below, and that's going to show you uh, a substantial amount of additional information as it pertains to these pole handles, uh, and then also different mounting types. So our type 1 mount is just that generic through bolt, but you can see that there are other options when it comes to um, these types of uh, pull handles uh, from the manufacturer. You may not want bolts going through the door. You might want a concealed sort of option. You might want a decorative through bolt. You might be mounting them back to back uh, as well. Several other options of pull handles are listed in the 30 page product catalog as well to give you all of the possible options as it pertains to pull handles. Now the 3E or the 3G, those are certainly very common pull handles, but all of them, as you look at them, are certainly common as well. Now the link here below this video to the manufacturer's page, that's going to allow you to review not only all of the Hager products that we sell by means of this navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. A couple of encyclopedic documents to draw your attention to, that would be the Hager King service manual that's here, and then the ADA standards for accessible design uh, guide that's here. And that pertains to Hager because they manufacture weather stripping. And thresholds especially are governed by federal law when it comes to accessible design for all users of a public space. Uh, now, we should just finally talk about the different finishes that this is listed available in from Hager. It's going to be US 10 Satin Bronze, US 10B Oil Rub Bronze, US 26 Polished Chrome, 2060 Satin Chrome, US 28 will be a clear anodized aluminum, US 3 is a polished brass, US 32 is polished stainless, US 32D is satin stainless, US 4 is a satin brass, um, 26D Satin Chrome, I feel like we didn't mention that. Uh, and then, of course, US 32D, or the 630 finish, would be um, you know the item that we're looking at here. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a very common pull handle. Okay, You'll see this in lots of applications. I don't know that it would be my choice if we were specifically doing one that was intended for handicap compliance. I think you're going to want one with a 2.5-inch projection. And then probably uh, this, you know, the size I believe is going to be acceptable, but one with a greater projection if you are knowingly installing it on a handicap compliant opening. The name Hager is synonymous with all things uh, commercial builders hardware. Their namesake, of course, is Hager Hinge. That's what people think of Hager as, but it's not only hinges, it's door closers, exit devices, lock sets, electrified hardware, obviously trim and auxiliary hardware, rolling, uh, pardon me, sliding door and frame hardware, weather stripping and a variety of other products as well. Basically everything for the door and frame, except the door and frame itself. If you have any questions on the 33E pull plate by Hager or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.